what it do fam we back again and in this video i want to take a deep dive into the sounds browser and show you a little bit of the differences that i've noticed when using the sound browser in both standalone and controller mode follow me All right, so now we are inside the MPC and it is in standalone at the moment. Now what I wanna do is go to the sounds browser and show you exactly how it looks with all of the new instruments installed. And here we are. So now in standalone, as you can see, we have 16 instruments on the front page and we also have one more instrument, which is electric on the second page. Now we can go to any sound in any one of these instruments at a tap of the fingertip, which is very, very useful. But the best thing that I can say about this again, is it all works totally in standalone. I've said this in a previous video, what I believe this does is opens up the floodgate. As Akai continues to build their library, I'm quite sure that they can come out with new instruments and new devices that we can use just like these in standalone. And once again, now Native Instruments has a lot of competition coming. Now, as been noted, we also have our favorites menu, which I don't have anything saved under favorites as of yet, but I might build that up eventually. You also have key ranges where you can add all of your sounds to certain sections of a keyboard as you see fit. And this is very handy, specifically if we get this keyboard that everybody's talking about. And if we do, oh my God, I can't wait to get my hands on that. And then as always, you can edit the instruments directly from this page, which basically takes you to the program editor. Now, all of this has been talked about already. Now I want to switch over to controller mode and show you some of the things that I found in controller mode, which is very eye opening for me. And I think it's a big, big positive. OK, now we're inside the MPC in controller mode. I do have it connected to the computer and I do have everything synced up. While that's not important because you can see all of this directly from the MPC, I just wanted to make sure that I made note of that so everybody knew. Now, we're going to go to the sounds browser again and you will immediately know a big difference. See, now the sounds browser looks a little different. And if we tap through the pages, you'll see there are a lot more than just 17 different instruments. That is because when in controller mode, the sounds browser also picks up all of your third party VSTs that you have installed on your computer. This means that you can now jump between any instrument that you might have. So as an example, if you wanted to open up Massive X, here it is right here. Tap it. Now, you can't select the presets, but you can select the instrument. And being that Massive X is a synthesizer. Once you open up that instrument, you can go through and make the changes that you want to make. Now, all I've done is went and opened up that plugin on the computer. So now you can see the computer, go through all of the parameters and change the sound as you see fit. Whether that's going to a different preset. Or getting in here and turning the knobs and. And just coming up with something quite different. Now, I think the ability for this, it kind of increases the power of the sound browser just that fast when you're in controller mode. But again, it's just as powerful in standalone because all of these new plugins work 100% in standalone. And if you're using something like an MPC Live 2, you can be on the go anywhere you want to be and still have access to all of these sounds no matter where you are so that's always a great benefit so that's all i have for this video i hope you enjoyed it and until the next one as always i'm out